to lighten things up. This is a Mississippi! Lock him in the dungeon! We don't have a dungeon! We'll lock him in the basement! That joke stinks! I'm surrounded by total incompetence and mental mischief! All of a sudden, my top minister acts like a bad horse show comedian! What was that? Oh, I didn't say anything! to hear a good elephant joke, princess? No, I would not, El Dente! Oh, come on, a smile scares the booms away. That's it! Throw El Dente in the ocean! I forgot my rubber duckie. <laughs> the girl has quite a temper. In fact, she's a maniac. We should convince her to work for us. Yes, glad you pointed that out to us, bad bird. Thank you. Let's continue with this. <laughs> This is highly cinematic footage of our robot in action against the pizza cat. That's wonderful, but did you have to include this long, boring sequence that we have to endure in every episode? Don't you want to see how it looks on high-definition TV? No, I'm going to the kitchen for some chamomile tea. Call me when the good part starts. Uh, as long as you're up, can you get me a seltzer? No, get it yourself. A triple whammy! Yeah! Now that's TV. That's high definition TV. Always have such destructive special effects. Let's continue this fiasco. Here are some of our less successful endeavors. Oh, I remember this one. Some salesman with a Brooklyn accent came by and sold us that rocket. He claimed it was built in New Jersey. This robot had all the grades of a 12-ton swan, I'll give you that. But the problem here was those fruity fans you decided to attach to his arms. As you can see, they didn't quite do the job. Well, at least the rocket worked. Did we save the phone number of that salesman? You had us build this nightmare the day after that championship hockey goal. He had us over for coffee and Danish at his mobile home. You made him great at blocking, Big Cheese, but the construction design was definitely cheesy. We're zeroing in on target! <laughs> at least we thought we were. You designed this yo-yo last spring. You had us build this guy after you took that three-hour sauna. He couldn't take the heat either. I'm the king of the forest. You gotta get rid of that Tarzan fixation, Big G. Here I come, ready or not. Yay! Your Sherman tank concept ran into a brick wall. And this big dummy never got off the ground. Aha, uh -huh, my samurai stomper. You have to admit that he did some damage. Yes, but he also had his pitfalls. You can say that again, but enough of these mechanized morons. <laughs> Here is the result of my little college recruitment venture. Who are they? Our new secret weapons, the four freshmen of the apocalypse, rude noise! Oh, really? Bad Bird tells us you guys need some muscle. Ruffians. They look raw, but at least they have a college education. Well then, if it's muscle power you need, we got it, babe. Here's a little demonstration of what we learned in school. Meet my fellow crow and roommate at Little Tokyo U. He's fast as white lightning and blinds opponents with red light. His name is... Rojo Rojo! My next buddy majored in physics and is aiming for a career in intercontinental ballistic missiles. His name is... Cannonball Battle. My third pal majored in dentistry but also led the swimming team to first place three years in a row. His name is... Ronnie Geismuller! Our fearless leader led the cheerleading squad in tomahawk twirling and excelled behind the wheel of any gas-powered vehicle. Call me Bad Max. 
We want a three-year contract. How much do you pay us? All right, I can give them room and board and three fifty an hour. That's not enough. Don't be cheap, Big Cheese. Offer them more. These guys are hot. Uh-uh. What's with you? That fruitcake still believes his robots can beat the pizza cats. What a jerk. Are you gonna meet our price? No way. No! Huh? Get lost. <laughs> cheap. The four birds immediately enrolled in graduate school. Meanwhile... Come, little tulip, let's visit the pizza cat. Jerry! I just know I could come up with a robot that'll work. Big Cheese, as you can see from the tape, those robots were all duds. No, they weren't. No, they weren't. It was just bad luck. You got an idea? Yes. We'll simply combine all the robots into one gargantuan conglomerate. Huh. You could have something there. They may have failed individually, but together. Wasn't that my idea? You're sort of the co-star. You're just too kind, Cheesy. Hm. I like the idea. We'll get to work on it right away. Even my own ninja groups don't support me. Cheese will have them build some big clunker that'll fall flat in its face. Through the magic of animation. It's finished already. It's magnificent, your cheesiness. Its sheer size will overwhelm little Tokyo. Though we could have left off that idiotic fan on his left arm. Don't say that, Jerry. It gives him color. Don't all you crows agree? Yeah! What a maroon. <laughs> pizza cats, oh pizza cats, where are you? Why don't you let me drive for a change? Doesn't matter who drives, you, old bat. This venture's doomed to failure. The only true power is ninja crow power. She's his new monster plummeted through the now deserted streets. Deserted except for the innocent Lucille, who was so intent on presenting a tulip to the pizza cats, she failed to even notice the approaching behemoth until it was upon her. Ah! 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 What happened? Oh no, it's that crazy geisha girl. Oh, you made me drunk with my tulip is gone forever. Ah! Big explosion! But say, isn't that pretty? I think I'll get the number of that salesman from New Jersey. Beaten by a missile on chain geisha, girl. Get back here, you buckeye bastard! Stop this instant! Why are you running away? Good air raid signal sounding! Oh yeah? What air raid signal? Jersey are really something. Lots of firepower. <laughs> Lucille sashayed merrily on home, probably to plant another azalea. She was innocent of the knowledge that she, of all people, had dashed yet another fiendish Vinci's blood to conquer the samurai pizza cats and destroy Little Tokyo. Life was once again serene in Little Tokyo, and the pizza emporium was packed. Be patient, folks. Some of our staff have almost slept again today. Oh. Ah, these two idiots stayed up again last night. I think you fellas better give up, Mahjong. Meanwhile, an angry and frustrated bird finally extricated himself from the previous day's carnage. Being buried under two tons of worthless junk has only made me stronger. Oh, it's cheese. The only way to conquer is with ninja crow power. Yeah. I'll go back to little Tokyo U and recruit the four freshmen of the apocalypse, even if I have to pay them out of my own pocket. Ladies and gentlemen.